fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the whip stitch. Here is an example of a whip stitch. It is a hand sewing stitch and it is used to hold two layers of fabric together. In this case it's folded edges and you can do it in two sizes. You can do them very small or you can do them rather large. They can be used for a temporary or permanent purpose, it all depends on your sewing project. As I'm doing a whip stitch with my uh, fabric pieces flat on the surface, um, try and keep a pin to keep them in place because it will create some kind of movement. Now you start with your needle in the top and then you go straight down into the lower edge. Push your needle down, pull your thread and your thread will lie diagonally. You position where you want it to be, so I'm keeping in line with that one, a few millimetres away, going straight down, keeping it in line with that one, your needle is straight, pull through and your thread will lie diagonally. Do it again, position it roughly 0.5 centimetres or so. Remember your needle's going down in line with the next one. So your needle is down, pull your needle through and your thread will lie diagonally. Here's one that I've done previously and you can also hold it in this fashion where you have both of the edges together flat and then you do the exact same process of making sure your needle is straight and then your stitches will become horizontal. So you can do it this way or flat. The whip stitch is an easy hand sewing technique for holding two edges of fabrics together. It can be for a permanent, temporary or a decorative purpose. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in a comment box below and I will see you next time.